Opening day. Opening day. Secret spot. I can't tell you where we're at. How big a ram you plan on shooting? I don't know. As big a one wants to get close to this boat. Shoot the first one, swim the river. Lot of river, some sheep, three rams, two cows. But all in all, can't complain about the weather. Ain't raining, sunny, rapid stuff. Yeah, what did you guys say about those rapids, Blake? I wish we had more water. It wouldn't have been no problem. Been getting hung up all the dang time. That kind of sucked. Yeah, I feel like the first couple of miles I've walked and pushed more than I rode in the raft. Pretty much. But that's all right. Tomorrow's a new day.
easy for me to say, like, shoot that one when it's not my tag either. Yeah. Well, if the rest of the canyon's like that, they're all going to be easy packs. Get them into the boat. Ooh, you, ain't, you ain't shooting nothing on the upper rim. But you see the one, the highest one on the hill? Yeah. Oh, there's four rims up there. Yeah. He's long. Yeah, you see how far below his jaw he goes? Yeah, but he's just he's big banana look. Yeah, he just got his, if he had mask on, he's still got his lamb tips. Yeah. That's what they said. It comes down to like, what do you like? Do you like tight curl? Do you like wide curl? Do you like mask? Do you like length? It's like, it's kind of like. For me, if this one was the same length on both sides, yeah, I'd shoot it. I'd be like, yep, no question. Yeah, it could be just... Because for me, that's a... I mean, he's just beautiful, too. No, that's what I say. If when you look at the other ones and they're like, eh, you know, and this one's got a beautiful height. Yeah. It brims the wrong side. That's going to be up against the fireplace. we got a <laughs> long time on the left. <laughs> Move on to the next ones? I guess. My thing is... It's not big enough. <laughs> Shaking your head, just like mm. why? Can't please them all. Can't please them all. Two hundred yards from the raft. Yeah, exactly. We pretty much went through three days of dragging the boat, pushing the boat. Not enough water. But what happened? What happened last night? Well, right before camp, I guess dark. We spotted a good ram up high in the rocks. We set up camp where we should be able to see him someplace at daylight. And if he's still in this neck of the sagebrush, then we'll make the final tally on whether he's worth a once in a lifetime tag or not. <laughs> it's kind of like his lifetime achievement award. <laughs> First things first, got to get the coffee made, or else my cameraman refuses to get out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be able to get anywhere in there. Well, I was saying like if we were right here below him on this little grassy ridge. Yeah. Like I don't think he'd see over that rim rock. Of course, by the time we got up there, maybe they'll make their way back over this way or something. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's doing, is trying to grab him and be like, hey, right, let's go back over here. I ran this morning, disappeared off over the ridge, so we rode the raft down around. And uh, so I just took my waders off real quick, put my boots on, blinking gear up the hill a little bit, grab my camera, and I'm gonna chase him up there. And hopefully we can uh, track down this ram. Looks like a good one, so yeah, maybe the pin try to find him. Or... Garrett's gonna put a good shot on him. But uh, so far, this trip's been a whole lot of uh, rolling the raft. Not a lot of water, so we've been getting stuck on rocks, getting out pushing, and uh, it's finally good to get the waders off and do a bit of hiking. But it is uh, colder than I imagined it was going to be on this hunt. And uh, yeah, there's ice on the raft. As soon as you jump in and push, you get back, back in. Your waders are iced up. Every morning, your waders are froze solid. So it's been an experience. get up here and Blake's giving me a thumbs up I guess they see him so I gotta get up there oh, so we hiked all the way up here and uh, there was four sheep now there's only three and the big one's not there so we're just trying to find where he's at Ram 
never showed up. I think he went back around on the other. Back to where we first kind of saw him, maybe. One of the other areas. Not here. We don't see him. So, back now we go. So, I'm doing my best to film what I can in between trying to help prime sheep. Trying to row the boat. Between me and Blake taking turns rowing and the water so shallow that whoever's not rowing, somebody still has to get out and push the raft half the time. So between me and Blake doing all that, it's pretty tricky to get a whole lot of film. And with all the gear and stuff we got, it's uh, do my best. We got one camera that's froze up and basically broke. I don't know how it worked perfect, but now it's all froze up. Something wrong with the gears in the camera. It's not working. The other camera, the mics, somehow smashed in the gear. It got broke, so I'm kind of working with what I got. Get her done. Well, we had to leave Garrett's sheep and now we're uh, down the river a little ways further and got another ram spotted. It doesn't look like it's that big. Sitting in the raft there and uh, sun's out, it's a little bit warmer, but it's still pretty cold. I've seen a handful of mule deer. Try to find a ram to shoot. Been rowing all afternoon, finally spotted some sheep. All these breaks. There's quite a few of them, so we're gonna glass and see what we got. I ain't got much to say. It's cold out. A little cold out. The sun's coming up. How many rams did we see from the tent this morning? Uh, six or seven rams. One shooter. Might be the one we were after last night. Looks just like him. They're making their way across and hopefully they keep going over there to that ridge and they can sneak up there and easier to get to them that way. <clears throat> Sheeps are up there, up in there. So we've been kind of watching them all morning, just kind of waiting for them to get into a spot that they are reachable because right now if we shot him and he died, there's no way we could get to him. Shooting him is not the problem, really, right now. It's kind of waiting for him to get to a spot that's manageable.
I like to, to oh, that's him, Garrett. keep my waders on. Oh, they're both right there. There's oh, two of them. Yeah. Might get some shooting here in a second. He's just right up there yeah. on top. So we'll stick in this ditch here. I'm try to stay out of sight. We can cut some yards off. Time, Oregon John Day sheep. And we're off. Well, we got a little Take that 
box off and then be able to get a better lift on it. We're going to kick this over right into this rock. Hit quite a few rocks so far, but apparently this one was sharp. We got like a three inch gash in the raft. So we got to figure out how to uh, patch it up. Part of the adventure. Getting the full experience. About to find out. Well, we killed a sheep, popped the raft, so we're camping here. Day five. I couldn't tell you. Sheep's dead. We're trying to get out of here. Rap popped last night. We rode over to the shore real quick, jacked it up, patched it fast as we could so it'll hopefully set. We got her jacked up on rocks and we are trying to pump it up. See if it holds air. So it is not holding air. Got some uh, duct tape wrapping around, trying to hold our patch as best we can. I mean, it's holding there better than last night with a big four inch gaping hole. But our plan is to put as much weight on the back as we can and uh, limp her in on three legs. Well, we're floating. Lake's rowing. Here it's on the pump. It's got a pretty good leak, but uh, if you want to head that way, Blake. I'm half navigator, half walk us through the rapids, so I pray we make it. We've been rowing all day. Since Sunday night. Pontoon kind of hit an equilibrium where it's not really losing air, so we kind of quit pumping a while back because it wasn't really, we couldn't pump as fast as it was losing it. So we've just been rowing since daylight. It's now four o'clock. 
Trying to make cottonwood. Yep. Uh, you might want to go left with Blake. There's a couple rocks. So, yeah, all day of rowing and wind kicked up, so we get out and pull and dodging rocks, and low water, and that kind of stuff. Other than that, we're uh, closer than we were when we started today. Can't really say how close, but we're trying to make it to the ramp before dark because we don't really want to set up camp and pump the raft again. But we haven't sank yet, so that's good. Got a little issue. There's our flat pontoon. Couldn't quite pull her on the raft, so we had to drag her up. We're gonna unload some gear. Bent our post trying to pull her on up. Blake's gonna back down here and we're gonna get her unloaded. in a lifetime that's for sure we're out though we're done 